to much of the area, but also dry air is battling some of the showers. So we're going to be watching that uh, battle go on here through the course of the day. We have uh, activity trying to work its way into Rochester. We see maybe a couple of sprinkles uh, moving in with this current batch of rain. More chances will lie ahead, so if we don't get anything right away, we may still see a chance of rain off and on through much of our Tuesday. But again, it's going to be meager amounts of rainfall we deal with uh, through the course of the day. Sprinkles moving into Rochester. More widespread rain has been going on for the last couple of hours in Austin, Albert and especially northeast Iowa, that's where there's a little more energy available. That storm system is wobbling its way through western Iowa, providing much of the Hawkeye State and parts of Illinois, even Missouri, with better chances of rain than its northeastern periphery, where it's running that dryer, the sprinkles moving to Rochester, pressed at this point. Wet pavement, here's Austin, live with our Lewis Donato camera there. As light rain has been going on for the last hour or so. Rochester waiting for the rain. Dry pavement so far, 44. The temperature, kind of a cool southeast breeze right now, makes it feel like 39 uh, dew point 33. That's key dew point again, a measurement of uh, the, the dryness in the air or the lack of moisture in this situ situation. Otherwise, if you talk about dew point, the summer becoming oppressively high when you have extra humidity uh, with only 30s. That's pretty dry air. And again, as that moisture is uh, flowing into the area, a lot of that is evaporating as it uh, moves in. So a lot of the showers are ha uh, basically having trouble uh, working their way eastward. 44 right now in Rochester. It's 46 under rain right now in Austin. 44 in Mason City. Cresco 42. Long line of shower activity. In fact, a couple of uh, centers of low pressure we're watching. One a piece of energy uh, providing a, a little extra lift. There's a little more widespread rain across eastern Iowa, northwestern Illinois, and a little uh, uh, energy in the backside of the system with the center of low pressure pushing southeastward. We have these showers around, but again, we're battling this dry air fetch coming out of the Great Lakes. So parts of southeast Minnesota, Wisconsin, all staying dry or drier than areas of the west. We'll track the possibility, though, of some of that rain uh, across the area in high res future track as uh, showers again uh, most concentrated in north Iowa and the western parts of the area on the Minnesota side of the border Rochester for the midday maybe a brief shower here and there but beyond that the rain chances look even smaller spotty showers and sprinkles that's it as the activity begins to wane uh, late in the day and by evening we're pretty much rain free with gray skies and then gr clearing skies later on tomorrow maybe an isolated shower redeveloping behind the system so a slight chance of a brief light shower with a, a cool breeze and plenty of sun in fact many hit 60 degrees tomorrow with enough sunshine later this week uh, later in the week though overnight lows in the 30s even below freezing in some cases, some frost possible later this week. 45 uh, for that morning commute. Showers possible across the earth. A cool breeze. 44 in Rochester now again. 50 in Minneapolis. Wausau dry and cool. 36 there. Escanaba only 32 in you know, the UP of Michigan. So spotty showers throughout the day. Gray skies, a light breeze. Temperatures uh, climbing to around 53 overall. Uh, pretty cool for this time of the year. 65 the climate average. So about a dozen degrees cooler than average. Temperatures dropping to around 40 overnight. That system pushes southward. Rain for the daytime hours. We see the rain on the wane by around 5 or 6 o'clock. Skies are getting clear after midnight as high pressure works its way in. But there's a little energy aloft that will eventually kick off a couple of spotty showers. We'll see those in the afternoon hours tomorrow for Wednesday. But typically that's a Thursday. A bright, sun-filled day. Temperatures close to 60 again. And then we'll see another chance of bringing a brief shower or two redeveloping over the weekend by fr Saturday night. And a better chance of rain throughout the day on Mother's Day Sunday. Unfortunately, yeah, we would prefer to have mom have a great uh, weather day for her special day. But it's not going to be looking so good. And in fact, most of the week not looking so good as temperatures go. Running well, uh, way below the seasonal average for the most part. 52 in Albert Lee today. 49 in Mason City. Rochester 53. That is way off the mark for what we typically see this time of the year. 53 with a light east breeze and occasional light rain throughout much of the day. Tonight, drier skies clearing late 40 and the seven day forecast looking at a spotty shower two in the afternoon tomorrow. A better chance of rain for Mother's Day with highs in the 50s there. And uh, if you're looking for something beyond tomorrow's 60, something a little more seasonable, about a week and a half to two weeks away. It looks like maybe the end of next week we start climbing out of this, but we have more than a week with these 50s for the most part. Some time to stay in this, but relief will be on the way eventually. <laughs> eventually, a little rain will be good though. Hopefully we'll get Definitely. some of that today. Thank you, Ted. Coming up.